think that we got an awful lot here fighting the Union, I'll tell you. I think it's a bunch of crookedness bringing it up, uh, principally some of our news, uh, controlling the news and such as that. Well, what do you Ed think Cole about Mr. Hughes? Things. Mr. Hughes, you know, has made these accusations. What do you think about him? I know such little uh, personally about him and the uh, deal that I just don't, couldn't make a well, statement. Well, as oh, I don't know. I think uh, if there's something wrong out there, they ought to look into it and, and see. Do you feel there's anything wrong? Well, uh, I wouldn't comment on that. I don't know. I, you were talking about that union? Yeah, you got any comments no. to make about the investigation? No. None at all. Well, it shouldn't hurt anything if they're uh, clean. They'll come through it all right. If they're not, it'd be a good idea. And you for it, but you, you wouldn't care to say whether you think it's needed because of anything going on. No, I wouldn't care to say about that. Okay, thank you. Well, I'm, I'm for it. Why? Well, if there's something wrong, let's bring it up. If it's not, well, let's just forget about it. Well, do you think there's something wrong right now? Well, it's where well, there's little smoke, there's bound to be some fire. Senator, when do you think we can expect final action on the Aviation Authority bill? I think the full committee on interstate and foreign commerce of the Senate will report the bill on Wednesday of this week. Uh, following that, it'll probably take us a week or ten days or perhaps two weeks to get it to the floor of the Senate. The House starts hearings on the same bill on Tuesday and expects to pass it after we do. And we'll get passage during this session. Is it considered emergency legislation? Uh, very definitely so, by ourselves and also by the president and all those connected with it. We're reaching a crisis in the air where we have too much too soon, too many airplanes flying too fast, and we have to get ready for the day of positive air control, and one man must control all the traffic rules. You can't have someone running the red lights in the Pentagon and someone in the Commerce Department running the green lights and not get your traffic all uh, scrambled up. Where does this new CAA center fit into that picture? Well, it's got a great role in this because as we develop more positive controls through radar and through electronics, these technicians will have to be trained by the uh, Federal Aviation Agency, which the bill creates. This being the University of the Air, not only of the United States, but of the world, I expect uh, far greater advances here than almost in any other sector of civil aviation. Senator, do you think that the Democrats will make the Sherman Adams affair part of the election campaign in the fall? Well, the Democrats have done practically no talking about the Sherman Adams affair. Most of the statements have come from Republicans who are running for the Senate or the House uh, who have been asking the President to fire uh, the President's first assistant, uh, Sherman Adams. Uh, frankly, uh, I think it's a decision that the President of the United States Uh, in my answer this morning filed with the U.S. Uh, Federal District Court, 
I feel like that Selected Investments Corporation uh, charged 22% uh, uh, interest on money uh, loaned uh, since 1952 and that the legal rate of interest is 10%. And I feel like anything charged over and above 10% is usury. And I feel like that Selected Investments Corporation did violate the law. Do you admit that you owe this money? I do not. In our answer, as an individual, I deny owing any amount of money in this complaint to Selected Investments Corporation. And as far as the corporation is concerned, I deny on the part of the corporation that uh, the corporation owes any amount of this money at the present time based on a release that the corporation received on March 12, 1957. Well, I'm a little confused, sir. How have you been paying interest if you didn't borrow any money? Well, it so happened in 1954 uh, when the merger of Select Publications Incorporated took place that Mr. Carroll directed the 25 shares of stock valued at $25,000 be issued to him personally, stock that he has never paid for to this date. And in addition to that, he directed that all other stock, which amounted to $75,000 and 75 shares, which uh, 24 shares of it belonged to me and the rest of it belonged to employees of the firm, be endorsed over to him. From that date on and before he loaned us any money, and from that date on until this date, Mr. Carroll has had control of all the stock. He sat in on every board meeting. He took an active part in the operation of the firm. And uh, under that basis, we feel as though that they should look to Mr. Hugh Carroll if any money is due anybody instead of to any individual uh, of the corporation or to myself.